macro. It's interesting that it's got that hole in it. The mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some of the wasabi for this guy. Oh my god, <laughs> it's really hot wasabi. <laughs> 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 it's extremely hot. Finally. Finally, finally. finally. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Adawara, Japan. This town is located only a 35 minute bullet train ride south from Tokyo, and they're famous for being a castle town. They have a 15th century castle called the Arada Castle, and it's built on these huge stones. It looks very similar to the Osaka Castle, and they're also famous for Oden, which is hot pot. So today we're gonna explore the castle, we're gonna see some more of the town, and we're gonna eat some delicious Japanese hot pot. You guys ready? Let's go explore Odawara. After a five minute taxi drive, Right here. So usually when you come to the castle, you see the moat to protect the castle. So you can order in the center is the castle and around it, surrounded by the moat. And now it is the end of July, January. So you see the old plum is blooming beautifully. And also this castle is very famous for the plum tree. So please enjoy the... Hello. Oh, good morning. David, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Plum blossom trees, like this one. Gorgeous, look at this. Very nice. Very beautiful. So now you know in January you can see plum blossoms as well. We saw cherry blossoms yesterday in Atame, but here we can see plum blossoms. So this castle has one gate, one main gate, which is right over there. And then the castle is up here. We have to take a bunch of steps to get up to the top. And you can see there's another gate here. Wow. And this castle is actually destroyed and they rebuilt it. So they were telling me that after the samurais fell, all the castles in Japan, except five, were destroyed. And here we have a beautiful Adawara castle. I love the white, huge stones beneath it. And this is really like, you know, Imperial Japan, samurai style, just incredible. I personally love visiting castles. I visited, I don't know, I've probably visited over a hundred between Europe and Asia. And yeah, this is just another one. Let's go inside and explore the castle. And we might even dress up like a samurai. Hello, yes. Hi. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, hi. So what we're gonna do is just climb up to the top okay. of the tower. Perfect. You see the beautiful, you know, side 360 degree, beautiful ocean, mountains, so that'd be great to take a look. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> After I think like 500 stairs, we're finally here, I know. I need, I need some air. Oh wow, gorgeous. So the Hakone Mountains, where you stayed last night, Hakone, over there. Cool. Oh wow, so we have like a little map here, great. This is amazing, this is why I like going up to castles because you can see incredible views over the cities that you're in. Over here we have the Hakone Mountains over there. Here we have another incredible mountain range you can see straight north. Wow, look at all the snow, so much snow. And here we have the city, Adawara City. In front of us we have the Pacific Ocean, look at that right there, Pacific Ocean. Ooh, lots of sun, it's getting really hot. I'm gonna have to take everything off. <laughs> Wow, beautiful, and they also have these, so if you want to look, it's 100 yen though, yeah, it's off. <laughs> so the mountain you see over there, it's called the Tanzawa, Tanzawa Mountain, it's beautiful. And where's Tokyo, all the way over there? Oh yeah, all the way up there. All the way up there, yeah. wow. Gorgeous, mm -hmm. and this is all Adawara town, right? Or yeah. Adawara, yeah. yeah, and the station. And the station's right there. So the island over there, uh, it's called Izuoshima Island. It's a little tiny island, but you know that we have a ferry from uh, nearby here. We spent like 15 minutes up here getting great views over the entire area. It gives you a 365 degree view of Adawara. And uh, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk downstairs and we're gonna actually dress up like a samurai. I haven't done that yet. I'm excited to do it. Uh, for the adult, it's uh, JPY uh, 500 yen. Okay. And for the child, uh, 300 yen. Ninja Samurai. This is gonna be my first experience dressing up like a samurai. So let's get this one. Yep. Okay, and then all this, is this all together? Yep, all together. Okay, so let me take off my jacket, right? And possibly my hat, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, dressing up like a samurai. I'm excited, it's gonna put a lot of things on me. Okay, here we go, on my legs. Okay, so for my arms. I love the work they did here. Through my thumb, Avengers. Avengers Assemble. My upper piece, okay. There was multiple samurais, I mean many samurais. Each one basically had a castle, right? And they fought like 
as ninjas basically, right? I mean, they have swords. So I'm gonna get a sword now as well. Oh wow, what are we putting in my head? In the movie, Last Samurai. The Last Samurai, yeah, I saw it with Tom Cruise. It's amazing. Tom Cruise loves Japan, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's come like 120 times. Right. Whoa, tight. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is amazing. These guys would go into battle like this? Yeah, so this one is a little more real. This one's fake. So the samurais would go. <laughs> is, there, is there nunchucks? I, I used to do everything. No, no. I mean, this is like a bulletproof vest. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's nice. <laughs> Samurais were the guys, the feudal lords who ruled Japan for like 500 years into the year 1868. They basically owned all Japan. And look, Haley's also dressed like a samurai right here. I got one in red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are going to making Japanese poppy, that's what shit. And in during the samurai period, which is anti-8068, and still now the many like ladies put this in the closet. So your clothes is very smells very nice and relaxed. So let's do it. So here at the workshop with Saraito, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sachet bags. Basically, we get to choose from six different natural fragrances. We can put one scoop of each, or we can do a variety, but you gotta get six different spoons. So I think I'm gonna mix it up, and then at the end. We're gonna mix them and then we're gonna put them into these. These are sachet bags. Very nice. Here we have frankincense. Hmm, smells great. So I'm gonna get one spoon, one tiny spoon. Patchouli. Spicy and exotic scent. Right here we have saddlewood, sweet and plump aroma. Oh, that's good. I love cinnamon, so I'm going for it. Right there. Spike now. Ooh, it's different. Heidi Kyo. That's one right there. Perfect. So I'm mixing it. Gonna mix it, see what it smells like. Oh wow, incredible. Pretty good, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so it's made of silk, perfect. Yeah, this is for my wife, so. I love it, silk, right? This is silk? It smells amazing. You can put it in your sock drawer, your underwear drawer, anywhere. Um, but this would be for my wife. Well, that was a pretty cool activity. That was different, I've never done that before. I've never made my own fragrance. It was really nice. I mean, we got to choose from just six different fragrances. Mix them all together if you want. I like them all mixed. I mean, it's a huge variety of smells right here. The aroma is ridiculously good. Uh, the smells are ridiculously good. And as you saw, it's a workshop. And if you love handicraft, you'll love this place. And if you're rocking around on the water and you want to do something that's indoor activity, definitely come over here. But next up, let's go eat some oden. Oh then, hot pot, Japanese hot pot. I love it, I've had it a few times now. And they were telling me that Adawar is famous for its oden. So let's go eat. Okay, here we go. And here we have the restaurant, Oden Honten. So basically it's called hot pot Honten. Here we have it, big group here. It's what you do is you choose five from this. Okay. So let me explain one five. Five pieces, yeah. Okay, so from here, Shirohan Pen. You keep saying Oh it. yes, you are not allowed to be hungry in Japan. So now it's a time to eat. So this restaurant is basically an Oden restaurant. Hot pot right in the middle. On the other table, as you can see, it's a huge counter. Hot pot right there. And as soon as the guy gets the order, he just starts pouring it out and setting it over. And we actually have an appetizer here. So we have some fish. We have like uh, some green beans. Here we have some more beans. Looks like potato and a few other vegetables. We got some green tea as well. Wow, this is wow, incredible. Mm, green tea is delicious. Oh, it's really good. And then this is like uh, some sauces. So all spicy sauces here. All of them are spicy. Okay, we say itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. First things first. Every Japanese restaurant, clean your hands with a wet towel. I like to use it to clean my face too. No, seriously, just go like that. No, I'm not sweating, but it's been a long day. <laughs> this is sardine. Dry, salty, but I like the glaze they put on top. It's a piece, and outside they have a... Bo Bonito flakes mm -hmm. with sesame. Mm -hmm. mm, it's also a little sweet. Over here we have a bunch of different things like celery. We got some red pepper, cucumber. Mm, pretty refreshing. Japan, they love red beans. That's all protein. Mmm. 
Oh, these are sweet. Very sweet. So many flavors, a lot of contrast and flavors. Okay, so here we have it, the old end. I got five different things. We got the macro right here. Wow, this looks amazing. Got fish cake. We have shrimp right here. So this is shrimp cake. We have macro dumpling. And we got a white fish. Oh my god, this white fish looks like a huge scallop. And in front we got some condiments. So we have mustard, we have wasabi, and we have miso. Plum miso, okay, plum miso. Macro. It's interesting that it's got that hole in it. The mm -hmm. it I'm gonna get some of the wasabi for this guy. Oh my god, <coughs> it's really hot wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely hot. Finally. Finally, finally. finally. Who had the fish cake? I'm gonna try it alone. Mmm, nice dense fish. But yeah. It's a rare wasabi. A rare wasabi? I'm gonna try the mustard and change it up. The mustard is strong too. Is it? Very strong. We got the spicy combination right here. I guess we'll try both of them together. See how hot it is. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, enough of that. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other ones. So next up we have the white fish. It looks like a humongous scallop. Let's see. Mmm, very dense. That's what I've noticed about everything here. They're all very dense. The cakes, oh, it's good. Let me get some of that miso. Some miso on top, poke it in. So we have a macro dumpling right here. Yeah, you definitely taste the chunks of macro in this. Mmm, very fishy, a little salty, but damn good. Should I dip into one of these? I'll just dip into the wasabi. Water. <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> Need some of that green tea. And lastly, so it's a shrimp cake. This shrimp looks like a plum tree. Mm hmm. I love how all these cakes, they're so unique. And eating them here in the Pacific is like a must-do. But the best part is the broth. Mm, fish broth. Just tastes like a miso soup. Heats you up, especially because it's cold outside. To end our meal, we have macro sushi with seaweed on top. This is beautiful. This is like, looks it's amazing. It's a work of art. Yeah, it's a work of art. It's really gorgeous. I think Put it's some of that. the most beautiful sushi that we've had. Mm -hmm. Mmm, and the taste. The seaweed is very different. It almost tastes like a like fragrance is coming out of there, right? Well, you only get four pieces, so you gotta make them count. Mm. Put a little bit of that wasabi in there. This is probably the best sushi I've ever had. Like, really? It's so good. Just the flavors, the texture. As you said, there's something in between. Blossom or something? Next up, which I didn't know we had another thing to eat, but we have this and then we have also dessert. So we have wheat noodles. Look how big these noodles are. Wow. It's amazing. Mmm. Oh wow. They're so juicy. You know, they absorb the soup. Mmm. So the price of this meal is 1,800 yen, 18 bucks for an incredible meal. Best sushi I ever had in my life. Incredible hot pot. And these noodles are just so good, but I'm getting full. It's like a five course lunch. Mm-hmm. For 18 bucks. So lastly, we have vanilla ice cream with plum jam on top. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, I love it. It tastes more like an orangey taste to it. It's delicious. Okay, so we just finished the incredible lunch. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bullet train from here to Tokyo. The bullet train takes 35 minutes. I think we're going to economy class and that's fine because I actually experienced like the business class, your green cart on the ride from Tokyo to Kyoto and Osaka to Tokyo. So this is gonna be great. I can't wait to experience the economy class. Bullet train from here to there. I mean, this is how this place is connected. The best way to get from Tokyo to here is the bullet train. Don't take any other way. This is Arawara Station and we're taking the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train. It's only a 35 minute ride. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk around here. We still have about an hour to go. We're gonna see. Some of the, some of the train goods. Yes. Train stuff? Yes, this For kids? Together. Hakone is a very famous guy. You're gonna also take some train. This is a bread train. 
And this is the Hakone also train. You see the many different kinds. And then we have Goku. The mochis? Oh my god, this place is famous for its fish cakes and right here we have like a crazy selection of fish cakes. I mean it doesn't end. And they also have an incredible amount of sake. And up there they have like sake barrels. I actually bought one at the brewery we went to. But here they have them and they're like triple the price. Now we're going to take the bullet train from Arawara all the way to Tokyo. We're going in cart 11. Car 11 that is with reservation. It's not the green car which I took earlier from Tokyo to Kyoto and then Osaka to, to Tokyo. This is just reservation. There's also regular where you could just you have to go into the cart and just pick a seat. But we got a reservation, thank God. Thank you again. Uh, thank you. Arigato, arigato. And then we go through here. So you gotta put this guy in there. Right there. Boom, I got it, I got it. Are you ready for the bullet train? Of course, anytime. Every time. Anytime. The hardest thing for me is traveling with this huge luggage, especially in Japan. I mean, everywhere else in the world it's easier because I just go like in a taxi or an Uber and then I just drop it off. But here it's harder with trains. But it's cool. I mean, the biggest issue really is when I have to go up and down stairs. But right now we're on an escalator, so it's great. And uh, our train is leaving in 50. Whoa! That was crazy. I haven't seen that before like that. Once the train gets here, you have to get on fast because they leave fast. Okay, get in. Okay, and then the best place to put your luggage is in the back, all the way back. Yes, thank you. Where's my other one? So, I'm sitting in car 11. There's actually three green carts, which is like business class, which is like super luxurious. Then you have three non-reserved cars, and the rest of the cars, the other 10, are with reservation, like this one right here. And right now we're going almost, what is it? 300 kilometers, 350 kilometers per hour. As you can see, we're flying through Japan, and it only takes us like, I think, 35 minutes from Adawara all the way to Tokyo, so really quick. I mean, you barely have time to eat your bento box. <laughs> Between Adawara and Tokyo, there's two stops, but it's really, really, really fast. So like, the guys are getting off, they get to the door, they get off, and 20 seconds later, it closes the door. So I mean, it's, it's that's the only thing is like, when it's stopping and it's your stop, you have to get ready with all your bags. It's not gonna wait for you. I mean, it's really quick. Watch, watch. We're gonna do it right now. And this stop is called Yokohama. It's a famous port town. They have a lot of good food here. I want to come here next time. So we're gonna get off and then we're gonna get back on. So this is Yokohama. You see there's a train? Number 11? All right, so it's about to leave. Literally about to leave. <laughs> Let's get back in, right? It's leaving right now? I mean, it's really fast. Like really, really fast. There we go. Literally less than a minute. Okay, and just like that, 35 minutes later, we are here in Tokyo. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the day. Arawara Castle, Hot Pot, and the Shinkansen bullet train. It was really amazing. I mean, what an incredible day. And yeah, we're here in Tokyo. So guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you like Japan, if you've been to Japan. You guys should definitely come out here. Japan is freaking amazing. I am in love with Japan. And yeah, subscribe to my channel for awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere around the world. Peace.